as you can see, we still have a lot of snow. And just in my dining room, looking out through the patio doors. It's a beautiful sunny day though. But the reason I'm here, I just wanted to show you my little uh, greenhouse setup. It's not very fancy. It's pretty rough actually. But I seeded these plants when? End of February? It's only been a little, a couple days, a few weeks. And it's going quite well. Got quite a bit of germination happening. The only thing that hasn't really come up are my marigolds, which is odd. <laughs> They're supposed to be the easiest thing to grow. But I think I may have two old of seeds. See, these are my marigolds in these pots at the front. And uh, they're, um, like I only have one or two that have actually germinated. So I'm giving them one more day and then I'm gonna reseed those. At the back there, this tray is coleus, which I'm excited to try. It's going gangbusters. I may have overseeded because the seeds are so tiny. I just sprinkled them in there and whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I'll have to probably thin them out. But, oh, I love that shade of green. That's my favorite shade of green. So those are gonna be great. And then in here, I've left the lid on because they're not really great yet. But I have some lavender at the front here. Just a few little squiggly plants have germinated and at the back is a black eyed Susan. So only about half of those have germinated and those were both brand new seed packets. So I don't know what's happening there. These are Lobelia, I think. I think that's what this is. Let's just take a peek. Yep, Lobelia. So those are doing fabulous. At the back, those pots are the marigolds, and I only have one, two, so yeah, not great, but I'll reseed those tomorrow. So what I've done, you can see I have a, this is just a, a light from Walmart. I bought three of them. I think they were two bucks each when I bought them. And yeah, I just kind of screwed them onto a piece of, a block of wood on, and then on the underside, I just hook them through. And uh, that's my system. I have to spritz them every day because they're very delicate. I just spritz the plants with some water in a spray bottle. These are pansies. Those are really going good. Yeah, those are great. And this was forget-me-nots. So those didn't come up. Those are brand new seeds. So I don't know. Forget-me-nots are my favorite. I'll have to go try a new pack, another pack. These are, what were these? Let's just see. Um, oh, morning glories. These things are going like unreal. Like, have I seeded these too early? Cause wow, they're gonna be massive by June, <laughs> but that's okay. These are Rudbeckia. Those are doing lovely. So yeah, I've got more morning glories at the back. And these are stalks, and they're doing really great. And some more rutabecchia, I think there. So yeah, that's my little system. I just wanted to show you my setup. Nothing fancy, that's for sure. I still have to seed my petunias and uh, yeah, that'll be it for my flower garden. Of course, I'll put outside, I'll just throw down some Cosmos. I always do Cosmos. And my cousin sent me some, I think they're primrose seeds. I'll have to look at the package. It starts with a P. Um, but her instructions were to just sprinkle them on the ground and they'll, they'll come up. And I think she said they bloom the second year. I'll have to reread the package, but still have to send her a thank you card. I think I'll work on that today. If I, if you don't um, get the card right away, it's coming, Maria. 
Thank you, Maria, so much for the seeds. She always sends me seeds and I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go craft. Before we go craft, I'll just show you one more thing. This is a cherry pit that I planted. Look at that. Isn't that great? Just, I just took apart, a, kept a cherry pit, threw it in some dirt, and a couple, uh, well, first, let me explain this better. It, I'm sorry, you can hear my uh, washing machine in the background, it's noisy. I took the cherry pit and I put it in the fridge, wrapped in a wet paper towel in a Ziploc, kept it in the fridge for, I think, a month maybe longer. There's instructions online if you want to really know how to do it. And then I planted it and I'm going to have a little cherry tree. And then this is an experiment. I kept it, oh, I can show you a better picture here. I, I just, I have this one over here in a glass of water. I just took my old lettuce, stuck it in a glass of water. You can see the roots. Those are just coming. So that one's still in a glass of water. And this one I planted because the roots were going really long. So I planted that one. I planted that one. And I planted that one. Look at that. Just growing lettuce from the store. If it works out, I'll have lettuce for salad. So there you go. I just wanted to show you a little bit more of my growing. Wherever I have a uh, south facing window I have a plant growing in there <laughs> usually it's a seed I got from somewhere that I just threw in some dirt just to see if it would grow that's my favorite type of planting okay let's go craft okay husband said he brought me home a present from Ottawa let's see what it is Ooh, there's a couple things there's a receipt uh, okay Ooh, a postcard to put in my uh, journal. I love it when people give me postcards. So that's cool. It says Ottawa, that's where he was. Okay, okay, reaching in, reaching in. That's not a chocolate bar. What is it? Oh, it's a magnet. A fridge, oh, don't look at the price. Fridge magnet. Oh, that's nice. That's cool little scuffed that's okay love it Ooh, how beautiful look at that that's our nation's capital very pretty i hope i get to go there someday i want to go there when it's uh canada day when they have the big fireworks and stuff that would be so cool thank you honey i love it thanks for bringing me home a present very nice Oy, my craft desk is such a mess. I wished I had turned on the camera though, because then you could have seen me make this. <laughs> this card, I just made it. Isn't it cute? Yeah, I should have had the camera on. Oh, Bill. It wasn't hard. I just drew out some flower shapes and got my Sharpie out and drew some squiggles and some dots and glued it all together and bada bing bada boom there you go there's a card I think it's very sweet the inside has nothing in it but I'm gonna send this to my cousin to thank her for the seeds that she gave me yeah so that's why my desk is such a mess because I made a card so let's make another one I think I'll make one for Let's make one for King Charles, shall we? <laughs> this one will be for King Charles. Um, he is recovering and I just want to make him a card. Maybe I'll get a reply. Wouldn't that be so fun? So I have these. These are just blanks, cardstock thingies. I got them from the thrift store. So I'm going to do that, put that on there. I know King Charles loves flowers, so maybe we'll just keep going with that theme. And I'll show you how I made the ones I made before. All I did 
was I traced out a flower shape on, on a scrap. So we'll do that again. See if I can, can I create magic twice in one day? I don't know. We shall see. So I made a six peddler. One, two, three, four, five. This is the, the last petal is always the hardest for me because um, that's a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, I think flowers aren't perfect, right? They're all different shapes and and uh, plus by the time I get it cut out, it probably won't even be the same shape as it was. So, because I have trouble getting my scissors into the nooks and crannies. Cutting is not my specialty. What is my specialty? I don't know. What, what would I say is my specialty when it comes to this craft? Well, it's certainly not gluing. It's not cutting. Um, hmm. It's maybe coloring. <laughs> I'm a real great pencil crayon colorer. I don't know. It's just fun. I just like messing around with the paper and the scissors and the paints and the glue and and I can't believe I made that card. I mean, doesn't that look professional? Like professionally crafty? I thought it turned out really nice, so make another one. Maybe we'll make one for um, Princess Kate too, cause she, I actually feel like she might be in more recovery mode than Prince Charles. I mean, sure, he's getting cancer treatments, but she seems like she was really dealing with something and having to recover from it. What we don't know, but my guess is it's lady issues. Just because of the, you know, you're keeping it kind of hush-hush, like it's nobody's business, right? So that's what I think. Unlike me who comes out and tells the world about my urinary tract infections, Princess Kate has a little more discretion. So here's my first little flower. Oh, actually, I think I made this bigger than the ones I made on my other card. Okay, I got a little piece of cardboard hanging off there. Okay, so maybe we'll only do, we'll do two big ones and two little ones or something. Okay, so I really liked the yellow, which was just a piece of scrap board book paper scrap board scrap book paper and I'm just flipping it over and I'm just gonna trace this one right on there now that's gonna be kind of orangey I kind of want more yellowy so go up here where I had more yellow hope you're on camera missy miss crafty miss I hope you're on camera since you're sitting down you're not even watching Oops. Okay, tracing is not my specialty, but it's it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay, so there's our first flower. I'll just cut it out really quick. Lowest cutter. Yeah, I'm not even following my line. <laughs> uh, it's just a guideline. I can deviate from that. Such a beautiful day out today. It is, it's minus four. 
which is amazing because just last week we were in, oh, at the beginning of this week, we were having minus 28 days. So maybe March came in like a lion and it's gonna go out like a lamb and we're gonna have a beautiful April and my plants are doing okay. They're starting out okay, so it's a sign of good things to come, I think. Everybody's predicting a very dry uh, summer. We've already got wildfires in Alberta, so hopefully we get some nice rains in April and May. That would change everything for the better. Okay, so there's my I now have my blue flower and my yellow flower. Okay, that could be cute. And then, I'll just use my eraser to hold that down. The next thing I did was I made some leaves. So I just have some green painted paper here. And I just made some leaf shapes, really roughly. One, two, three, four. Cut those out. My husband has gone to get water. We have a cistern here, so he goes to town every couple weeks and gets water to fill up, fill up the tank. And so that's good. He does those kind of things that I can't do. When, you know, when he was gone, I I managed fine, but I I don't think I would risk trying to drive that big truck down the highway. The big water truck. I'd probably just have to phone a company and tell them to come fill up my tank, which is about, I think it's like $200 a load or something crazy like that. So there, okay, got those. Then we wanted a couple little flowers and we need the inside flowers for that. So I think maybe we'll use if I have any of that pink left, I could use it. Uh, no, but I do have these polka dots, so we'll make some little flowers out of that. Just push my leaves up a bit out of the way. So I'm gonna go like one, two, three, four, I'm dropping stuff. Yeah, we uh, we had Chinese food for supper last night. He picked it up on our way home. He came and picked me up at work. And um, because his ride from the airport dropped him off in town. So he came, he came to my work, picked up our car, came home and pushed snow until my shift was done. And then he picked me up and we grabbed some Chinese food and came home and we spent the evening together because we hadn't been together for a week and watched a little Netflix. I can't even tell you what we watched. Oh, I know what we watched. Yes, we watched, um, oh gosh, what is it? The fifth or fourth or sixth season of Drive to Survive which is about um, F1, the Formula One car racing. I love that show. Oh my goodness, I love it. We watched five episodes last night and we have five more to watch tonight. And um, you know, I used to not be a car racing fan. I was like, okay, I like hockey, I like football. Uh, but geez, he tried to get me to watch NASCAR with him and I was like, that is boring. They just go around in a circle. 
boring. But then he was watching NAS uh, F1, sorry, F1, and I was kind of watching it, you know, but not really. Oh, I like that. That's cute. And, um, I, you know, I had a struggle to get into it. But then this Drive to Survive came on. Oh, here's my pink paper. And um, I started watching that, and I got to know the, um, the fellas, the drivers and the, the team principals and, you know, all those fellas. And, oh, it's such a well-done show. And I started to, you know, have some favorite characters. Like, at first, the first season, I really liked Danny Ricardo. He's a F1 car driver. I liked him um, in the first season because he had a great smile and was just seemed like a, he was genuinely enjoying being a race car driver. And... But then he kind of got a little moody with the team he was on because he didn't appreciate being demoted to the second guy, not the top guy. Because every team has two drivers and one is kind of the, the one they focus on and the other guy is sort of his teammate who helps him win, basically. And um, yeah, Ricardo didn't like being put in that position, so he switched teams a couple times and he's kind of tanked ever since. Not that I would only cheer for, you know, have a favorite guy if he was the winner all the time. That is not true because Max Verstappen is the winner all the time the last couple years and I'm, you know, kind of don't care for him too much. He's kind of, well, first of all, it's really boring that he wins every single race. I find that boring. Um, so I'm usually cheering my favorite player, or player, my favorite driver for the last few years has been Checo Perez. Yeah, he he's from Mexico, and he comes from a very humble background. And, I mean, some of these drivers are just rich kids, right? That, you know, they, I mean, it's expensive to drive in F1. You have to have a lot of sponsorship and all that. And, uh... Yeah, and then Checo came back from a, a one race where he was the very he was in the very last place. Can't even tell you what year this was. Uh, and he drove all the way to the top. Like he ended up winning the race. And after that, I was like, "Yep, that's my guy, the underdog who comes up from behind." So I really have liked him. And now he's he is the second, um, like he's the teammate to Max Verstappen. So. It's always fun watching that because I feel like Checo is very much a team player. He he really tries to do well for the team. And I feel like Max Verstappen just wants to win for Max Verstappen and which is fine, you know, no got no problem with that. But um not crazy for that pink one. It's too big, first of all. How did I make it so that it ended up being too big? What if I just trim it out a bit? Yeah, so anyways, I, I'm blabbing here. Just blab blathering on, as I do. But yeah, so that's just another um, sport I'm big into is Formula One racing. And my dream is to win the lottery <laughs> so that I can take my husband to probably Montreal to see uh, a live F one Formula One race. That would be, that would be the dream. I mean, there's Vegas too. Vegas would be kind of fun to go watch. Um, go watch it in Vegas, but actually I think Montreal is a nicer track. So yeah, that's just the dream. I can dream. A girl can dream. And there we go. Okay. That looks a little better and it will, it will look better once I outline it. Okay, so I don't need this yellow for anything. So at this point, we're going to take our Sharpie. Was it this Sharpie? Oh, I don't think so. I think it was this one. Yep, there it is. And I'm just going to outline my leaves. Let's just make sure we're on camera. Oh yeah, 
Um, maybe I'll zoom in just a little for this part because it, it might be a little hard to see what I'm doing. So what I did on my other one is I went around the outside of the leaf. You probably won't be able to see this very well, but I just drew, oh, come on pen, work with me now. Draw there and then draw on this side. And then I just made a little dotted line down the center of the leaf, like that. So I'm gonna do that to all four. It's kind of tricky. It's tricky drawing tight little lines in this little space with my little shaky hands. Okay, there's two. And that just makes it kind of pop, right? It just kind of gives it some more definition, a little more texture. I mean, compare that leaf to that leaf. I think they look better with the ink on them. Do, 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 do. Okay, those are my leaves. Now I'm gonna take this part of the flower and I'm just gonna try to draw an outline inside the flower, like that. Pretty simple, but kind of cute. I think it's cute and hopefully Prince Charles, or Prince Charles, Oh my goodness, get with the times. It's King Charles, hello. Hopefully King Charles likes my card. <laughs> I'm sure he's just waiting for it, right? Now I'm just making some dots on the inside. Oh, was I supposed to do that on this part? Maybe not. Oh well, we did it. We did it now. I can't remember what I did on my last card. I don't think I did dots. Oh no, I didn't, I just drew a one line. Okay, well that's okay. A little variation is good. You see how great my memory is? I can't even remember what I did five minutes ago. Okay, so this one is the one. I was thinking that when I was doing those dots, I'm like, I don't remember the space being this tight when I was doing my dots. Yeah, that's because it wasn't. You were on a totally different flower part of the flower. Whatevs. See, I got a little boo-boo there. That's okay. I'm gonna fix that. That way, King Charles is going to look at this and say, oh my goodness. This, Camilla, come here, look at this. This is a handmade card from someone in Northern Alberta, Canada. Can you believe it? That's what he'll say. Okay, so that's gonna go, this, I'll just show you. It's gonna go like that. And then this one will do the same thing. Who is this artist? I must have more. I must find her and have more of her perf perfectly handmade art for my home. Do I sound like King Charles? Not really. There, okay. I do, I'm terrible at accents. I think anyways, but whatever. You're not here for my accents, I hope. If you are, you'll be sadly disappointed, I'm sure. Just making dots, little messy dots. Ooh, really messy. Skip diddle my loo there, okay. Hope you're able to see all this. It's hard to do it so that you can see it because I'm sure my big knuckles are in the way. Okay, this one, we're just gonna go around it inside of the 
petals again. Uh-oh. Had a moment there where my pen stalled in one spot, and that just makes a big ink blob. King Charles is an artist himself. Did you know that? Yeah, he is. He's a, a beautiful watercolor artist. He has amazing talent. There is a YouTube video I would recommend you watch. I've recommended it to other friends of mine. And it's about King Charles and his art. And it's just really great. Okay, so that is going to go... Huh. Pick that up somehow. Flip it up. Come on. Work with me. It's going to go on there like that. Okay, so we'll glue those down. Glue these parts down. Oh no, I didn't put my glue the right way. So it all ran to the bottom and it's taken like hours to get to where it is now. Oh, let's try a different glue. I have this one. This is a Tombow liquid glue. Maybe that'll, it looks fuller, so I'm hoping it works. Okay, I just gotta get that off. Hello, is anybody home? Hello? Qu'est-ce There you are. Qu'est-ce That's about as far as my French goes. Bonjour. I can say that. I can say, uh, je m'appelle. Not now, I'm crafting. <laughs> Did you think I was going to say my name? Come on. I've got to have a little mystery to me here. You know I get you urinary tract infections, but you're not gonna know my name. Say my name, say my name. Okay, no, let's not. Okay, now, what did I do on my other card? I gotta go back for reference. Oh, okay, so we need the little inside things, little center pieces. Okay. First, I'm gonna glue these on, I think. Glue these parts on. Whoa, sliding off. Okay. I think I want the blue one underneath so that I can try and hide my little bloop there. I had a little, remember? I have this little spot where my pen went off the page. So if we go like that, that'll hide my little bloop. Okay, those are stuck good. Okay, that's nice. Let's glue those down. Glue one first. Come on, pick up. Yeah, this is good glue, I think. When it comes out, seems to be fine. Okay, I want that one there. Just hold it for a sec, make sure it catches. And then pick this one up. A little more. Let's make sure she goes and stay. I mean, it has to fly all the way to England. I don't want it to fall off during the flight. Okay. Hold it, hold it, stay. It's really slidey glue. Yep, that one's already stuck. Okay, great. Now we'll do our leaves. So I'm just gonna take my little bit of glue, shoot some on there. And I think I'm gonna stick this one over in there. Ooh, this glue is really slippery. Like it, once it's dry, it's fine, but while it's still wet, it's sliding around. Gotta be careful. Wait till we have real flowers. I'm dreaming about my flowers. Um, I think this one, can I get under there yet? Still? Sort of. Go like that. There, that's pretty. This one we'll put over here, I think.
And I didn't glue the petals down because I like the that they're lifting off the page a little bit. I just think that looks cool. I'll have to be careful when I put them in the envelope because we don't want them to go off and hmm, where should I put this one? I think I want to put it under here. We don't want them to uh, get bent or anything. There, that's very cute so far. Okay, just let me find my, I've already lost my little things I had in the center. We could put buttons. That would be different. Hang on, I'll just go get some buttons. I'll be right back. All right, found my buttons. <laughs> Do I have some buttons? Do I? Oh yeah, baby. I got buttons. Let's pull our card out here so we can. Oh jeez. Okay, so we gotta see what would look good. Here's a little blue one. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of a blue green. That would work. Orange. Mm, no. Pink. Probably too bright. That's a pretty bright pink. Nope. Ooh, there's a cute little, there's a little dark blue one. Yeah, that's a maybe. Yeah, I got lots of buttons, that's for sure. There's a little purpley one. That really makes no sense at all. Hmm. Oh dear. Yes, I do have a fabulous button box. Where did I get all these buttons from? Yes. Oh, I like it. Okay, we'll go with that one. I got them from the thrift store and other places. Okay, I gotta set this for a sec. I gotta set this down so I can move the buttons out of the button bin out of the way. All right. Glue those down. Ooh, I wonder if this Tombow glue will work holding these buttons on. Well, we're about to find out, folks. Let's see which way. Well, this one's kind of a... I'm just going to throw the glue in the center. Did any come out? I can't even see that far away. Make sure we get enough. Yep, that looks good. Slide my button on there. Hold it for a sec. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Ah, isn't that sweet? You know what I should have done? What I should have done was drawn in my curly cues first, but no, I don't wanna do things the easy way. Now I gotta try and work around all these bumps and lumps to draw in my curly cues. Now I gotta work around buttons. It's fine. I can handle it. Okay, so that's the last part is making the little curly cues. So all I did was I just literally went in and drew some lines like that. And then I went in with some dots. Like that. Um, we could just make some dots coming from out of here. Make them look like they're going up and under that flower. And then we'll do a, let's do one down here. Like that. Um, I think I'm gonna make some dots coming from here. That and where else? Where else? I think we'll go this way. Like that. Um, maybe we'll go. Now 
Now, do we need some more flowers? That's my next question. Or is that enough? It, see, this is what I always do, don't I? I always go, do I need to do blah, blah, blah? And then I take it too far and I ruin my project. Right? I don't want to ruin my project. It's important. This has to go to the king. And I don't want it to be a mess. What says you? Well, you know what we could do? We could cut out some little flower, a little flower, maybe just one, and we could put it on and see. Like just place it and see if we like it. And if we don't, then we don't, right? We don't have to add, uh, glue it down. But now, what color do I want? I could do pink. Okay, well, yeah, let's do that. Um, I want it to be darker. So I'll go on this side because it's a little bit lighter. And we'll just make a little one. Do I have to count out loud every time I draw a flower? I guess so. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to cut there, that one out. More cutting. You get to watch me do more cutting. Yep, my laundry's done. I don't know if you can hear that on camera. My beep, beep, beep. I am doing some work today. I'm not just sitting in my craft room all day messing around. I've done three loads of laundry. I made my husband lunch. Uh, I watched Formula One race this morning and the Oilers. <laughs> the Oilers had a 10.30 hockey game. Isn't that silly? 10.30 in the morning. Well, I can tell you, they played like they had cement skates on. like. It was far too early in the day for them. And they lost, but it was in overtime, so we still got one point, but you know, it was disappointing anyways. A loss is a loss as far as I'm concerned. Oh well, okay, so I'm gonna outline that. Oops, jeepers, I'm having trouble with my outlining on this card. Oops, there I go again. Oh, too much pressure. When you're making art for the king, there's a lot of pressure. You want it to be the best, and sometimes you just choke, you know? You just choke from the pressure of it all. Okay, so then I'm thinking I'm gonna just go, like I did on my other one, I just kind of drew in some little dark petals. riveting, isn't it? Watching me create this. But you're getting to see the whole process. Artist in work. There's an artist in the house. Okay. Spin it. Draw another little flower there. Doo 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 doo. One more time. Okay, I think I might just fill that in a bit more there. Okay, here's our little flower. Now, let's see. If I was to plop it on here somewhere, I'd probably cover this because I think that one turned out so lame. <laughs> Not crazy for it. Could do that. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna glue that down. And then we need a little thingamabob for in the center of that. Just 
just a little glue. Come on, Tombo. Eh. Get in there. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe do I want another one? No, okay, you know what? No, three is a good number. Three is the best number. Uneven. Uneven numbers work the best. Okay, so in my handy dandy little craft drawer over there, I got this clip ring with these little doomajiggies on them. What do we want? What do we want? A pearl? A pearl would look nice. Do, I don't have any smaller pearls. Well, I have these ones, but they're not white. Oh, yeah, those are the same size. Okay, well, let's just... Let's just take one of these then. I think a pearl would look good. And I'm going to glue it because I want to make sure it stays on during its flight to England. Now i got to find Prince or King Charles' address. It's probably Buckingham Palace, eh? <laughs> it could be. It could be Buckingham Palace. Or there's Highgrove. I know he lives in, he likes his Highgrove residence. I'll figure it out. Just make sure that stays down. Well, check it out. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think Charles would like it? I hope so. Okay. And so I just need to fill it in and make the envelope because I don't have an envelope for this card. So I will do that and I'll be right back. Ooh, shaky start. Okay, I finished my cards and this is how they turned out. I got one's quite nice. Uh, this one is for my cousin to thank her for the seeds flower seeds she sent me. This one, a little bit different, is for Princess Kate, Princess of Wales, get well card, and this one is for King Charles. And I just looked up online where to mail the cards, and I just sent them a little personal message inside, which I will not read to you. <laughs> It's for their eyes only. So, thank you for helping me make these cards. I think they turned out so sweet. And I hope whoever receives them enjoys them. That'll be my video for today. I'm glad you spent some time with me. And I can't wait to see you again. Talk to you soon. Bye!